Hey guys, welcome to the Power Yoga Workout for Arms. We'll start in a modified plank position on the mat. Place your hands directly underneath your shoulders and fan your fingers out wide. Bring your neck in line with your spine so you can maintain a strong, modified plank. From here, just bend your elbows directly back and lower down halfway, leading with your chest. Then push back up. Lower down, push up. Exhale lower, inhale push up. And keep going just like that at your own pace. Neck is in line with your spine, lower abs engaged, and elbows bend back to graze your ribs like in Chaturanga. Great. Take a seat on your heels and shake out your wrists. Then come forward to a high plank pose. From your high plank, shift forward three extra inches and lower down into low plank, elbows graze ribs. Find upward facing dog and keep your legs lifting off the mat, then send it back to downward facing dog. A couple more like that. Inhale high plank, exhale low plank. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Inhale high plank, exhale low plank. Up dog, down dog, and hold. You can modify any of these planks on your knees. Take only what works for you today to make you stronger tomorrow. Next inhale, high plank, low plank, up dog. This time, low plank. Tuck your toes and dive bomb your chest. Then press up into high plank and send it back down dog. Repeat, inhale, high plank, exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog, exhale, low plank, dive bomb. Inhale, high plank, press it up, send it back down dog. Just one more time, high plank, low plank, up dog, low plank, high plank, down dog. Great. Take a seat, shake out your wrists, and slow down your breath. Now come back to down dog and set it up strong. Get your arms in line with your spine. And for pike push-ups, just bend your elbows out to your sides like you were trying to touch the crown of your head to the space between your hands. Then push up. Try it again. Bend elbows out, inhale, exhale, push up. Bend elbows, push up. And keep going at your own pace. Try to keep your arms in line with your spine so you're not lowering your chest down to the mat, but instead drive your head and spine towards your hands. And you can modify by only moving an inch or two instead of full range of motion. Now take a seat and roll out your shoulders. Swing your legs around and come into a reverse tabletop position on your hands and feet. Fingers point towards your heels and lift your hips up. For tricep dips, bend your elbows and lower your hips down to the mat, then straighten your arms to lift back up. You can maintain a little bend in your hips. Elbows bend, hips lower, inhale, exhale, push back up. Keep going at your own pace and follow your breath. We're only doing a few of these, but they're really good and they will burn, making you stronger. Keep going, stay strong. Awesome, take a seat and stretch out your wrists. Try placing the tops of your hands on your waist with your fingers pointing back and push your elbows back like you have wings. That should stretch out your wrists and forearms in a really good way. Our last pose is Dolphin Dog. Place your forearms parallel with each other on your mat, hands flat and relaxed. Then lift your hips and straighten your legs as you try to align your hips shoulders, and elbows. Relax your neck and try lifting up through your shoulders. Try not to let your elbows splay open, keep your forearms parallel with each other. And if you're feeling flexible, try walking your toes in a couple extra inches and continue pressing your chest towards your ankles and lift out of your shoulders, as if you're pressing away from the mat. Hips, shoulders, and elbows are stacked. 
and your breath is deep and smooth. And release. That's it for today's Power Yoga Workout for Arms. I suggest repeating this three times in a row and once or twice a week for maximum strength and toning. Thanks for watching.